and welcome to the video. This one is answering a question a lot of people have been asking me recently, probably because of the recent furore, is that the right word? About the Oasis reunion tickets. And that is, where are all the big rock bands gone? For those who don't know, I have been in the music business, well, on the fringes of it, in the small time end of it. I've not worked for a corporate music company or record label. I tend to do my own thing. And I've put on shows at places like the 100 Club and the Borderline in London. I've also done bigger shows like the Margate with the Gardens, the Cambridge Corn Exchange, Chancellor, Chancellor Hall. I've put on festivals, that kind of thing. So I know roughly what I'm talking about. Since 1972, I've seen it all. From glam to grunge, from pub rock to punk, from brick pop to windy. Not much has passed me by, so stick with me. To go back to the basics, in the 1960s, 70s, 80s, and even the 1990s, there were huge bands who weren't just bands, they were cultural icons, they led their generation. People like the Beatles, the Stones, Led Zeppelin, the Who, I'm trying to think now, The Clash, The Smiths, Nirvana, Oasis, there's loads and loads of them, but yet Oasis seems to be the last of a dying breed. Now, why is that? First of all, things have changed. Back in those days, we used to all watch the same TV shows, we all used to listen to the same radio station. Music hour by hour. Too much on your tower. It's great. Of power. Music hour by hour. Up to date. Of your tower. Wonderful thing you say read the same music papers and so we were collectively soaking up all the information about the rising bands and we heard them on the radio and we either liked them or we didn't like them. I can remember when I was still at school there were people like me who enjoyed Led Zeppelin and there were other people who thought they were absolute rubbish and would never last but there were enough people who would watch the old grey whistle test and read the enemy or whatever who would pick up on it these days, things are very different. The only TV programme that showcases young talent that I can think of is later with Jules Holland, and that's what buys about as many people as the local news. And then you've got radio stations. There's so many of them now, both independent and BBC. Even Radio 1 has about five different stations. So unless you're already well-known, it's very hard to get established as a big rock act and frankly they're not interested in rock bands they're interested in young female singers for what i can see the whole music industry has changed back in my day shall we say in the 60s 70s 80s and 90s record companies would sign loads of bands and they would give them a chance to work out what they wanted to sound like and what they did and to write their songs and to go in the studio which incidentally most of the record labels own their own studios so it's very lucrative for the record companies to basically create or give the the bands chance to grow big all that's now gone it's all home studios you or i could make an album in our flat and we could have it uploaded tomorrow but how many people would even hear it? Before we go any further, if you like this, please like. If you think I'm doing interesting things, then please subscribe and press the notification bell and comment, let me know what you think. Back in the 1960s when I was at school, in the 1970s when I was a young man going to university, music was part of our lives. There were things like the Paris riots and Rolling Stones were the backdrop to that. And we were all angry and we were all going to change everything. And the music was all part of that. Now, not the same. The music now is very much, I mean, we've got people like Adele and what Sam Smith and people like that, and no disrespect to them, it's not changing the world. And these bands, because they were bands, they were collaborations between various people normally, at least two songwriters like Lennon McCartney, Jagger, Richards, etc., Liam and Noel or whatever. Although I think it was more Noel, wasn't it? I don't know. That's all changed. 
And of course, the live music scene is now a shadow of what it was when I was doing it back in the 1970s and 80s. Back then, as we know, in London, there were like probably, I would think probably 150 pub rock venues. I mean, at any one time on any night, I had the choice of going out and watching probably a hundred bands in places like the Hope and Anchor, the Nashville, the Red Cow, the Cricketers, the Bull and Gate, the Bridge House, not getting clubs like Dingwalls and the Hundred Club. There were loads of places back then. London now, if you look at it sensibly and exclude the places that do like karaoke style things, you probably got, I would say, maybe 20 in the whole of London. In those days, people used to go out on spec. People used to say, oh, have you seen that band who were playing at the Roby on Friday night? Let's go and watch them. And then you go, you might not have heard them because you couldn't download their things online because there was no online. So that's all changed too. The discovering things is now totally different. It's now all down to streaming and individual people going on YouTube, Instagram, etc. And there's less excitement, I would say, in live music. Although it's obviously hard for, for me as a 70-year-old man to say that now the teenagers aren't as into music as I was. I bet you that the people who go and watch Oasis, I would say 90% of them have not been to a live show in the last year. Maybe I'm wrong but I don't think so. So that's where we are now. I don't think we're ever gonna see things go back to how they used to be. Things ain't what they used to be. Things change all the time and there's nothing we can do about it. But what we can do is look back to the glory days of British music, subscribe to my YouTube channel and enjoy the nostalgia together. Well, thanks for watching. It's been great having you along. If you want more like this, then you know what to do. And don't forget to comment, let me know what you think. Goodbye.